Sadhguru, Shiva used to ride on Nandi. If Shiva was here today amongst us, what would he ride? Asks Sarah from Dehradun. See, unfortunately, uh, because, uh, because these things were all uh, probably, mm, not probably, definitely it came uh, either from UK or from Europe at one time. So the power of an engine is measured in horsepower. If it was in India, we would have said bull power <laughs> So you know what he would ride <laughs> Iyad from Lebanon asks, Shiva is the destroyer. Why do we worship the destroyer? Isn't this anti-life? <laughs> Why is this Lebanese girl after me like this? <laughs> well, uh, in Lebanon you're just recovering from winter just now, still on. Well, most of the leaf from the tree is down, most trees are bare. If these leaves which have done their business, if they don't come down, do you think fresh leaf can come up? If… I will spare your grandfather, if your great-great-grandfather still around, would you be here? No. So, the process of life is sustainable only because it is an ongoing cycle of creation, maintenance, destruction. If you get attached to your present existence the way you are, you don't want to get old, you want to get botoxed. You don't want to look old, what's the problem? Hey, what's the problem with me? You don't want to get old, you don't want to die. It's important as we are born, when we were children, we were longing to grow up. When we become adults, why are we hesitating to become old and die one day? <laughs> Because this is the nature of life, if the cycle is broken, there shall be no life. Let me tell you a little story. Can I tell you a story? I'm… <laughs> I'm… I'm asking… I'm asking your permission because for most people, if I say once upon a time, they think it's better. <laughs> This happened not so long ago. Uh, a rich man, a rich family built a nice new house. It is part of the culture here that when you build a new house, generally in the rest of the world, they will party, they'll get drunk and get sick on the second day of going into their new house. But here, <laughs> they will invite a sage, a seer or a yogi to come and bless their house. So they invited a yogi. He arrived, he's a yogi, but they welcomed him like a king. They did all the best things that they can do to a guest, fed him well. Then time to leave is coming. So both husband and wife came, prostrated themselves in front of the yogi and then they said, please give us a blessing. Yogi raised his hands and said, first let your father die, then you die, then your children die. They said, what? 
we welcomed you, treated you like a king and you're telling me my father should die, I should die, my children should die. The yogi was bewildered. Did I say something wrong? What is this nonsense you're asking all of us to die? I said, I'm not asking you to die. You're anyway dying short. Hello? Are you all dying short? Yes. Right now full of life, but dying short. <laughs> When you are the dying sort, isn't it best that first your father dies? If you die before him, that's not good. If our children die before us, that is not at all good. Hello? So first father dies, then I die, then my children die. Everything is natural order of things, perfect. Hello? So, that is why the destroyer, he must come at the right time. He should not come too early or too late. <laughs> Look